Hi Scorpio, welcome to the Soul Song. My name is Nina. This is going to be your general reading for the month of April. Okay, but uh, time isn't fixed. It is fluid and nothing is set in stone. So this could actually mean something to you for maybe even me. Okay, let's see what needs to come through. Uh, we're keeping this open. So any kind of guidance from spirit that needs to come through. Uh, any sort of messages and of course uh, some prediction as well okay having said that this is a general reading so take only what resonates and leave the rest behind please do not force the messages to apply to you okay i hope you're all doing well i hope you're safe and sound and um, yeah <laughs> I have picked out some oracle cards to give us the overarching theme and to understand any kind of um, guidance and advice that spirit wants to give you at this period of time. Okay, so let's see. We've got movement. Blessed. Okay, that's nice. Imagine. Power door to value wow <laughs> okay we've got miracles and blessings everything has its gift wow and we've got take a chance on love when we love we when we love our lives are changed forever how lovely how beautiful I just want to point out one more thing here, okay. Um, I did see this card at the bottom of the deck as well. So Scorpio, I kept hearing you're ready, okay. Whatever it is that you have been perhaps putting on hold, uh, something that you thought, you know, you do on some other fine day, now is the time to do it. Now is the time to take that plunge. Now is the time to... Take that chance on doing something that you really love, doing something that you feel really um, connected to, okay? Doing something or connecting with someone, if that is the case, uh, that brings you a lot of joy and happiness, okay? Uh, ultimately, your happiness, your joy is going to lead to even monetary uh, value and success okay value doesn't necessarily have to be uh, monetary but in this case I am seeing that you have the freaking manifesting skills that you need during this time okay so <laughs> and I'm not bluffing this is just what the cards are saying you have the power to create to move forward to bring into fruition and to bring to reality anything that you imagine. So really work with the law of attraction at this time to create what you want to create in your life. Okay, because miracles are right around the corner. I am hearing that for some of you, you feel so stuck like there is no movement, there is no way out. You feel like you really don't have it in your control or in your power to do something, to create something, to change your circumstances. But these cards have come out so that your guides can remind you that you have that power. You have that ability to manifest whatever you want to. Okay, And you've got blessings all around you. Okay. They are right around the corner. All you have to do is take a chance. Take a chance, Scorpio, on doing that. Uh, being that person I'm hearing that you've always wanted to be. On putting yourself out there if you feel like there was something that you were sort of uh, restricting yourself from doing. Open that door, okay? It's going to bring you a lot of value. It's going to bring you... A lot of success it's going to open uh, a whole new possibility it's going to bring you uh, the means I'm hearing to move forward okay 
it's all in your hands it's all in your hands you can grab the moon okay with your hands and interestingly beneath this deck we have the goddess of the moon okay so can you see there's so much moon energy here which is reminding me of the high priestess who is a really powerful manifester okay she doesn't need to really go out and uh, you know keep uh, uh, running into obstacles or do something constantly uh, put in a lot of effort to manifest things no she can create just by working with the laws of the universe that's the secret knowledge that she possesses okay so tap into your intuition tap, uh, tap into your inner power that's going to bring you a lot of blessings okay wow this is really positive <laughs> all right scorpio so i'm gonna start with your tarot cards okay and see what needs to come out okay wow we've got the chariot at the bottom of the deck that is a fellow water sign a cancer which is my sign so you've got the gumption the will to really move forward now okay you're on fire so don't let anything stop you scorpio okay some reason i need three cards there okay we'll take them we've got the ace of cups okay at the bottom of the deck perhaps a new opportunity in love and that's why they want you to take a chance okay we'll see how we've got the ten of pentacles the page of swords the queen of swords okay uh, okay, and the three of souls. We've got the queen of pentacles, the two of wands, the eight of cups, and we've got seven of pentacles, four of pentacles, and three of pentacles. Okay. Hmm. We've got two threes here. We've got, strangely, this as well here. This, I feel, is pertaining to some kind of a relationship, okay, that you're going to walk away from. But what they're saying is that what you're walking towards is what you need to focus on, okay? So as far as your finances... And your stability is concerned you're looking set you're looking sorted uh, it may not be a lot but it is enough for you to feel comfortable I'm also hearing it's enough for you to contribute okay so perhaps being able to contribute to your family expenses and things like that or if you're living in a community setup if you're living in um, a group setup whatever that may be you are feeling quite comfortable around that okay around those connections and they are also in turn offering you a lot of support and you're willing to do that as well so there's a lot of stability going on there which is really nice to see now you have the page of swords and the two of wands um i'm getting like you could be receiving some kind of communication from somebody who you are probably not in touch with someone at a distance okay yeah we've got the four of cups here perhaps this person kind of left you hanging didn't really give you enough time or you sort of got bored of waiting is what i'm getting okay and we've got the three of pentacles again here For others of you, I'm getting that you could be receiving, if you're looking for a job, you could be receiving an offer. But for some reason, 
or you could be getting communication from a company a group set up whatever that may be but for some reason you're not too happy with what is being offered to you okay um maybe it's not exactly what you wanted or it's not coming in the shape or form that you wanted okay it's not exactly what you maybe it's even a smaller company it's probably uh, an organization that uh, you're not like too excited to join perhaps and that's why you're sort of in two minds about whether you should take this offer or not okay that is quite possible now what's happening here is i feel entirely to do with a relationship let me get like one advice card over here for you okay what is the advice for scorpio in this case with the spade of swords and okay so we've got the hierophant and again the three of pentacles here i would say uh if this is a job offer they um they're advising you to actually take it okay because there may be something new that comes up later on and you could be learning a lot through this experience there are some important um you know i'm getting like upgradation of skills if you if you join here maybe it will give you the kind of experience that helps you get something better and level up okay it could also help you um maybe rise up in terms of your designation okay i'm getting quite specific here but that is what um i am being asked to say and yeah this could definitely be communication coming in from a large corporation or a company that um uh, maybe for some reason you're not too excited about you know joining so <laughs> yeah that is the case for some of you for others of you uh if this has to do with a relationship they suggesting for now to be um to not they suggesting you to take uh to focus on what brings you value okay to focus on what brings you uh a sense of stability now it doesn't mean that you stay in a relationship that is on the surface very stable but beneath uh the surface there's everything going wrong with it okay doesn't mean that but uh if someone is especially leaving you hanging then really focus on um on the tangibility of it okay whether this is something that can last the test of time whether this is something that you really want to stay committed to or not because you wouldn't be at a crossroads if you were completely happy with that okay and this doesn't seem like you're very happy with that <laughs> All right. Moving on to this, we have the Queen of Swords, Three of Swords. I want to see what that is about. Why is the Queen of Swords and the Three of Swords? Okay. Yeah. The world. There is definitely something that you're moving away from, Scorpio. Okay. It's come to its head. It is. There's nothing you can do about it anymore. it's not yeah we've got the emperor which wanted to come out in reverse and the empress here wow that's a power couple i feel like that is what you're moving towards scorpio okay yeah a beautiful soulmate connection but there is something that you need to wrap up before that um i feel like you're looking at how far this has come and you're really giving it a lot of thought with a lot of clarity 
trying to be as objective as is possible and really focusing on whether this is bringing you value or not whether this is something that is tangible or not okay and uh, okay what i'm hearing is that initially when we got this card what i'm hearing is that moving away from a situation that is actually not good for you is a blessing in disguise okay and if you're afraid if you want to keep hanging on to it because you've put in a lot of work because you've planted the seeds you've waited patiently you don't want to release control you don't want to let go you don't want to go out and see something um new okay be open to something new then it's possibly going to bring you more of this okay So I like that you're removing emotions from this situation because uh, you're able to see things from a much more objective pers perspective and uh, the Queen of Swords is, is known as like the widow, um, not the widow, sorry, the divorcee of the tarot, okay, in terms of court cards. She's completely no nonsense. She looks at things um, from a very analytical cutthroat blunt perspective okay looking at things for what they are calling a spade a spade is her forte okay that is what you're being asked to do here scorpio because whatever you have planted seeds in whatever you have been um you know patiently trying to bring to fruition I feel like it's time for you to walk away from that and you're going to do that because that fulfillment, that happiness is not really right here. It is somewhere beyond in the unknown, okay? With the moon card again, there's a moon here. So I guess that is why this card came up as well. There's a real emphasis on needing to trust your intuition and not be afraid of the unknown and really um, believe that you can make uh, choices and decisions that are for your benefit, that will bring you more value and that you do not need to compromise your power, your you know, your inner power for. You do not need to um, bend over backwards for. Okay, because what's yours is never going to actually pass you by. This might be someone who has had a control over you, had that power over you, perhaps, and. Uh, Someone who was really trying hard to maintain status quo, to let things be the way they were, just, you know, carrying on without actually bringing you much joy and happiness. And if you were really happy in this connection, then I don't think you would be at this crossroads, Scorpio. Okay. But I want to remind you that this is a positive reading, okay? Even if you have to leave certain things behind and close the chapter and start something new, you have the ability to do that, okay? You have the ability to shine. You have the ability to um, create something that is far more valuable, okay? And move towards your real happiness, real power, and more loyal soulmate like connections. Okay, so there's a lot of earth here. Maybe you were dealing with an earth sign, okay, that you perhaps haven't completely let go of from your system. Yeah could be a Taurus okay we've got Taurus twice hmm interesting <laughs> so I want to remind you of this 
Your guides are saying take a chance, okay, and take that leap forward. Go into a new direction because it's going to lead to something that is good, okay, that is of value. Um, you are being led in a new direction, Pro provided you're open to uh, grabbing a hold of this opportunity, okay. Uh, it may not seem like a blessing at first, but I feel like it is going to be a blessing in the long run, okay? Because it's uh, it seems almost destined to me. So, open that door to something that is far more worthy of you and your dedication, your loyalty and your commitment, okay? Two threes here. Birth of something new. Expansion. Look forward to that. Alright. I wish you all the very best Scorpio. And I'm going to see you in another video. Do take care of yourself. And um, yeah. I wish you all the best. Bye bye.